Hey everyone, Guardian E here, and welcome to another summoning video in Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we're going to be summoning on the first of two summer banners in 2020, Summer Passing, featuring Selena, Loot, Joshua, and the all-new harmonic hero of Mia and, well, <clears throat> Marth, I guess. Um, so today, I think we're going to be going for both Selena and Mia, Shooting for these two characters, mostly for their design. I, I don't want to go crazy on this banner. We'll see how we end up doing. Uh, I don't want to spend too, too much. Obviously, we've got a lot of things coming, but uh, at the very least, I, I'm willing to spend a little bit um, to try to get both Selena and Mia. So we're going to be sniping greens and colorless. It's probably not a good idea to snipe two colors if I'm not spending that much, but you know what? We're going to make some bad decisions today. So green and colorless, let's redeem our free summon. Okay, one green here. It's fine. First pull, Selena. Can we do it? Be pretty cool. Ah, got that shockwave. Let's see her. Oh, what? That's <laughs> that's another lovely lady. That is Rajat, uh, Black Magician. Wow, we did get a five-star pull on our free summon. All right. Well, that is certainly a pleasant surprise. I have only one Rajat. So this is actually a merge for me, so that's kind of awesome. And she's plus attack. That is pretty cool. Alright. That's that's awesome. I've always been a fan of Rajat's art, so that's wonderful. Um, well, that's going to be it for the free summon here. We're going to back out of this. Uh, <laughs> maybe later, Nintendo. Okay. Well, let's keep that train rolling. Uh, go into the next circle now. Green and colorless. Okay, one green again. So I'm not expecting a ton, I mean we already kind of came out winning, we got a 5 star, um, but I've been getting some pretty decent luck lately, so I, I feel like it, it's it's time for the, the balance to hit, like the the scales to tip back in the favor of getting uh, a pretty bad session, so not to get too pessimistic here, I'm just being realistic. We're getting a Cecilia, alright, we'll keep on diving in, and again, um, you know, there's a Legendary Hero Banner, of course, that's coming. There is Summer 2, which I am very excited for to see who they're going to reveal there. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot on the horizon, and this banner is around for 30 days. So for anybody out there that's hesitating on summoning on this banner, totally understand. Totally understand. All right, so two colorless in this circle. Can we get that Harmonic Hero here? Oh, God, no. Oh, jeez, it's Reese. Okay, <clears throat> that is uh, <clears throat> definitely not a... Unharmon <laughs> That's definitely an unharmonious pull for me. Let's keep going. I guess this is uh, as good an opportunity as any to talk a little bit about harmonic heroes and resonant battles. Um, you know, and I guess how I feel like they might influence the game and just my thoughts on them. Generally speaking, I'm actually very excited at the prospect of Harmonic Heroes for a lot of reasons. Um, I know there's some reservations and some criticisms about, um, well, the resonant battles, basically. And how <clears throat> the scoring system works, the ranking system works, the rewards. You know, for me personally, you know, putting aside the whole, oh, there's a uh, Ross. You know, putting aside the whole arena, coliseum-based scoring system, which has always been like a fundamental flaw of Fey. Like, it just it just is. Um, it was flawed from the start, the BST, and then SP skills, and merge scoring system. You know, it, it, it's just always been a problem. And the patchwork done since launch really just hasn't remedied it. Um, but the practical difference in terms of, you know, regards to the, uh, you know, upper echelon of, of I would say, the mid-competitive free-to-play player is, is really marginal from the, the highest ranks, right? Like, the highest ranks, they're going to get more rewards, but... Like, the highest ranks are going to get more rewards, but there's diminishing returns, you know? Um, the higher that you go, and you, you'll get substantial rewards just by, I'm not going to say coasting, but by, by doing the best that you can with what you have. But as far as, like, the harmonics characters are concerned and the harmonic duos or harmonic heroes um you know anytime you add and speaking specifically about like title title based skills and title based uh weapons and, and effects anytime you add new differentiating factors and values to existing characters it's a good thing uh, it just adds new points of relevancy to old characters 
All right, we're gonna get a Merrick here. So like, let's say for Merrick, you have you know, two green infantry tome users you know, with similar stat lines and, and uh, niches, but you know, one has better offensive stats than the other one. Well, it just so happens, you know, one of them is from Fire Emblem Heroes and the other is from like Binding Blade. So now you have even more of a reason to use different infantry tome users or infantry green tome users um, and build them now that you have harmonic heroes that get introduced and there will be more of them. I mean, they're, they're not stopping. Obviously, like right up front, right now, Alright, so that's going to be a Kaze. Sorry about that. I had to cut my audio because the uh, leasing office, the maintenance people are mowing the lawn directly outside of my window. So that's annoying. Um, that's a Kaze. That is fine. Let's keep going. Alright, two colorless. But I'm just saying, when you add in additional factors to existing characters, like the title, and have effects that are impacted by that title, it's even more of a reason to expand and use different characters that may potentially fulfill the same knit, uh, niche. You know, I've been playing gacha games for a very long time, and I've been playing a lot of gacha games, and I've seen I've seen them do it right, I've seen them do it wrong, uh, and something like this has the potential to spice things up, make it interesting, and in, in increase you know relevancy I think to existing characters. So we'll see. It's all a matter of execution, right? Um, and I think some people might argue that they've already not executed perfectly, and based on their track record, maybe we shouldn't um, trust the direction that it's going to go, but I'm excited at the prospect. I think that having title-based skills is just... Oh, yes! There we go! We're going to get the Harmonic Blades, Mia. That is awesome. So we are going to get a Harmonic Hero, uh, bringing a little bit of harmony to my barracks. Harmonic Blades Mia. Hi, I'm Mia, and this is Marth. Seems we share a connection. Our love of the beach in summer. All right, that is pretty amazing, and there they are. Uh, let's, fingers crossed, hope for some offensively neutral or positive stats here. Ugh, that's plus attack minus speed. Could be better. Could be better. Plus attack's good, of course, but uh, the minus speed certainly isn't. But we can take a look at their art. I, I talked about their art in the uh, the reveal reaction video. I think it's very dynamic. I love the, the way that they play off of each other in terms of their, the contrast of their personality types. I think it's really great stuff. Let's take a look at her, their um, little oh, speech boy, as well. Is it hot? Very much so. Okay, I don't know how to put this, so I'll just say it. Turns out you were a girl this whole time. Talk a Please do not make such a fuss about it. Sorry, it's just... You still got your mask on. It's a little weird, right? Weird? There are many masked heroes, are there not? Well, yes. But who wears a mask with a swimsuit? I see your point. I had fervently wished to enjoy the ocean, but... I suppose fate had something else in store. I'll go change out of the swimsuit immediately. Wait, what? Why not just take off the mask? That I simply cannot do. I must never reveal my face. Uh, really? Really, really? Indeed. And I had so looked forward to building sandcastles, splashing in the waves. <sighs> now if you'll excuse me, I shall go. Hey, wait a minute! I didn't mean... you don't have to... hey! Look, it's a little weird. No, it's really weird, but that's okay. Let's just swim. Forget I said anything. Are you sure? <sighs> I thank you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Come on, don't cry. About the only thing you'll have to worry about is a really weird suntan on your face. Come on, I'll race you. All right, so th that's a cute little exchange, Mia teasing... Uh, Marth about her mask, uh, and of course, uh, Marth slash Lucina taking it the wrong way, refusing to take off her mask, uh, but then compromising in the end. The Nintendo Mobile uh, YouTube channel actually revealed this conversation, I think just yesterday in a video, when they were like showcasing the units, so I don't know if they're going to be doing that in the future with duo units, so this wasn't a surprise, I guess, it was kind of a rehash, but uh, 
it's nice to see that that conversation is in the game rather than just kind of in a uh, in a video online. So let's grab the other colorless, me as well. We didn't have a huge pity rate or anything. Um, I'm tempted to go in for another Harmonic Blades. I don't know if we'll do it, uh, but I think at the very least we're going to continue on for Selena. There's Rebecca. But pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, all right. So that was, I don't know, something like... 60 orbs in, so really not bad. Okay, two colorless stones. We will pull on the colorless. Oh, you know what? I should have pulled on blues during that last session, huh? I didn't even think about that. Ugh. Well, hopefully I don't regret that. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna... At least for this one, I'm gonna play it by ear. Just like how I feel. I'll pull on, on all of the colorless in a circle. If I feel like it, if I don't, we may just reserve for green. That is Setsuna. Alright, back out of this. Like I said, I would like to get Selena. Oh, two greens, so two chances here. Would like to get her. I think her design is awesome. But if we don't get her, we don't get her. I mean, again, it's fine. There's Cherche. Yeah, I would say ultimately, we already kind of made out pretty well. You know, um, asset and flaw combination aside. Alrighty, can we make it happen here? Oh no. Alright, give me those greens. Give me those greens, please. Alright, alright, they're keeping the green train rolling, which I appreciate. If we get her here, that would be awesome, because then I could pull on another colorless, and I could pull on the blues for loot. So, ah, oh, it's a python. I feel like I get a lot of Python whenever I'm pulling on green. It seems like one always manages to sneak in there. Which is fine. I don't think I have 10 copies, or 11 copies, so I don't think I have like plus 10 potential with him yet. So, uh, okay, Barst is reposition. He is Mr. Reposition. Um, do I pull on that colorless? You know... I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going for greens. I'm gonna back out. All right. So then the question is, do I pull on blue or do I pull on colorless? I think I should just keep going for colorless, right? That makes sense, I think. Although I wouldn't mind loot. Now I'm torn. Okay, there's Brady. Tell me what to do, Brady. What's What's the right decision? Uh, oh man, okay. No greens here. I'm gonna go for blue, so this could be the loot. If it's loot, that's awesome. That'd be great. Get another summer unit. That is not a summer unit, that is Odin. Mr. Odin Dark. He's got some good stuff. He's got Moonbow. That's fine. Some Blar Blade. Alright, two greens here. The rest are reds, which would be for Joshua, who I'm not necessarily going for, so um, not the best circle to get her if we were to get her. There's Bowie. But really, I shouldn't be greedy, right? So I think we're closing in. I, I don't think we're going to go too much deeper. Uh, I don't know how deep we're going to go, but not much more. Frederick. Summer Frederick will be returning pretty soon. We're 3.5, that's, that's okay. I think maybe just three more circles. Three more, you know, little circle sessions. Oh no, it's a three star. A uh, little baby fae. DD Divine Dragon. Alright, can we make it happen? Can we pull out a win? Can we get both of our targets? That would be great. I know I'm being greedy, but it'd be nice. Oh, man. Is this our second Merrick of today? Not as nice. Okay, one green. Pull on this one and we'll back out. I think. Oh, no, it's a three star. I'm getting a lot of Hawkeye, too. Do I pull on this? 
No. No. Oh no! There's no chances. All right, I, I'll end on a green. So wherever, whenever the next green we get, ah, it's a three star. I think we'll end on a green. I always say that we're gonna end and then we never, <laughs> we never do, because I end up getting tempted to go further, to go even further beyond. Oh come on! What are you guys doing? At least give me loot here. That would be pretty cool. All right, it could happen. It could happen. Oh my god, Odin. Come on, man. I've only pulled on, like, just a couple of blues, and they've been Odin. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh, wow, no greens. No greens, they're not showing up. I think they heard me say that, and so now they're not going to give me greens because they want me to keep spending orbs. Oh, hey, there's Tanya. All right, where where are we? Ugh. Okay, okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. We'll pull on these greens, and then we're done. If we get her, great. If we don't, that's fine. We can just move on with our lives. There's Baruka. And then I'll have plenty of time to recoup my losses here. Come on. Oh, it's a three star. Right, daggers into my heart. Ah, uh, and there's Gunter. Okay. Well, that's fine. So then the question is, do I pull on these blues for a chance at loot? Um, I mean, they're discounted. So that would put me at like 140 or so in on this banner, 150. I, th I think that's fine. I'd like to get another summer unit. I mean, it would be cool to get another summer unit. And loot does have a high chance as the four-star focus. You know, I haven't really gone in for... Oh! Oh! Oh, that art threw me off. Jeez, okay. <laughs> nice to see you, Cordelia. Nice to see you. it happen. If we get a loot here, I'm willing to go in one more circle. There's Oscar. Okay. Seems like they don't want me to. It's fine, but we're going to spend three orbs for this last stone. Okay. Let's see it, loot. Let's make that appearance. Oh my god, no, it's that is Mordecai. With his cute squirrel friends. All right. Ah, 4%. I really shouldn't go in any further. Um, just, 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 just one more. One more green. One more green. I have a problem. <laughs> I need to stop. Because I gotta, I gotta just think about... Oh, three star, no. I gotta think about what's on the horizon. Summer 2 could be, um, has a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential there. And I may end up having to spend a lot, a heck of a lot more orbs than this on that banner. So if I have any certain um, targets. All right, okay. Arthur's a sign that we need to call it and close things out. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get Selena. I wish I could. Sorry I wasn't able to get loot. I wish I could. Uh, but I think that's going to be it. You know, maybe if they appear on a double special banner in the future, uh, we could go in for them. But at least for the time being, I think that's going to be uh, it for me. So if you all ended up summoning on this banner, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you got all of the targets that you were looking for. Let me know in the comments below how you did and how many orbs you spent. Again, hopefully you ended up getting everybody very, very early on. Maybe even on your free summon. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching and taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. Here's wishing the best for you, your family, and your friends, and certainly hoping that all of you are staying healthy, safe, secure, and united out there. And until next time, let's protect those skies.